Hey guys, Society Reviews here of my review of the film Silent Night. A movie where the protagonist doesn't say a single line of dialogue throughout the entire film really isn't that unbelievable. Earlier this year, Joe Kinnaman starred in the film called Sympathy for the Devil with Nicolas Cage. And Nicolas Cage did the exact same thing in a film called Willy's Wonderland just a few years ago. Fortunately for this film, there actually is an explanation of why our protagonist doesn't speak. Silent Night is about an everyday electrician who finds himself at the worst point of his life when his son is gunned down in a battle between rival gang members. Brian tries to take revenge, but is ultimately shot in the neck for his troubles. While Brian manages to survive the ordeal, he loses the ability to speak due to his damaged vocal cords. Brian falls into a deep depression where the only thing preventing him from drinking himself to death is getting revenge for the death of his son. Realizing that the police aren't going to be much help in this matter, Brian decides to take the law into his own hands. This puts Brian on a path where he trains for the next calendar year in order to get revenge on the gang that murdered his son. With revenge stories like this, it's hard not to make comparisons to Frank Castle and the Punisher. The story is very similar. A man loses his kid in the worst possible accident you can think of, and the only thing that drives him is getting revenge on the people who did it. Brian essentially becomes Batman over the course of the next few months, building his own car, getting his own bodysuit, and making sure that there's nothing that can get in his way in completing his mission, which is pure vengeance. Silent Night manages to combine visual storytelling along with his brutal action to really sell the film. The visual pain and anguish in Joel Kinnaman's performance tells a better story than he possibly could by saying words. If you are a fan of Punisher-style brutality, then you'll be well served with this film. With John Woo and the producers of the John Wick franchise at the helm, audiences will notice a lot of similarities. Audiences will spot a lot of similarities when it comes to fight choreography and stunts. Because this is a film about violence and revenge, of course you can expect some woke critics out there to complain that in the movie there's a white guy killing a bunch of Hispanic gang members. Well, if your enjoyment of a movie only comes down to the race of people getting shot, as George Masvidal once said, maybe it's time for you to go back to watching soccer. While some critics will argue that Silent Night is a throwback to the type of 90s and 80s action films that audiences don't want to see anymore, I say that the fact that Hollywood doesn't make movies like this anymore is exactly the reason why they're experiencing 100 plus million dollar lost film after another. Silent Night is one of the better films you can watch this holiday season. That is unless you're one of those people who probably doesn't have a good relationship with their family to begin with. For everyone else, this film is a brilliant action thriller. I give it a 3.5 out of 5.